Today's topic is anorexia. Anorexia nervosa, similarly called anorexia, can be defined as an eating disorder that is psychologically inclined and considered as life-threatening. It is characterized by an extremely low body weight and a strong fear of gaining weight. In this cycle of self-starvation, the essential nutrients, sodium, potassium, and calcium, needed to make the body function normally is not supplied to the body, forcing the body to slow down all the processes needed for energy conservation, resulting in a very serious medical condition. People suffering from anorexia place a high worth on regulating their weight and shape using extreme effort that is likely to interfere with their health. In preventing weight gain, people with anorexia usually put much restriction on the amount of food they eat. They also engage in excessive exercises in a bid to lose weight. Anorexia is more prevalent among teenagers, but still people of any age can suffer from this eating condition, even though it is extremely rare in those over 40. Teens are at a higher risk because of all the changes their bodies experience during puberty. Increased peer pressure can heighten sensitivity to criticism about weight or body shape in teens. Dieting in an attempt to control weight is different from anorexia. While someone might diet in a bid to lose weight, anorexic disordered people diet in order to gain happiness and self-mastery. Causes The exact cause of anorexia is still unknown. Anorexia may be a combining effort of biological, psychological, interpersonal, and environmental factors. Biological. It is still being heavily researched what gene triggers anorexia. However, certain genetic changes can lead to a higher risk of anorexia. Individuals who have relatives suffering or who might have suffered from anorexia in the past are also at higher risk. Psychological. Psychological factors that contribute to anorexia include low self-esteem, anxiety, depression, anger, loneliness, etc. Interpersonal. This includes a history of being ridiculed based on weight and size, childhood sexual abuse, severe trauma. Environmental. Social factors that contribute to anorexia include cultural pressure that emphasizes thinness and constantly reinforced being thin and having the perfect body as ideal stereotypes. Professions and careers such as modeling and ballet that support being thin and weight loss. Signs and symptoms. This could be physical and emotional. Some physical symptoms include thin appearance, insomnia, dizziness or fainting, dry or yellowish skin, low blood pressure, bluish discoloration of the fingers, constipation and abdominal pain, dehydration, swelling of hands and legs, menstrual irregularities, dry and brittle nails, muscle weakness, cold in extreme cases, decreased testosterone in males, kidney problems, heart problems, dry and brittle hair. Emotional, behavioral signs and symptoms include preoccupation with weight, food, dieting, and calories, maintains an extreme exercise regimen, has an intense fear of weight gain or being fat, denial of hunger or excuse of avoiding to eat, may become isolated and withdrawn, dramatic weight loss, covering up in layers of clothes to hide weight loss, inability to maintain a body weight for age, social withdrawal. Diagnosis Early indicators of anorexia may be identified by a primary care physician, like a family doctor or pediatrician, who prevents its development into a full-blown disease. They can ask questions about eating habits and attitude towards food. Additional tests may be carried out to check for any related complications. Treatment Pursuing a treatment for recovery, it is recommended to seek service of a well-qualified team of eating disorder specialists consisting of a therapist, nutritionist, and a physician. The physician addresses the underlying health issues that might have occurred as a result of such eating disorder behavior. Issues such as unstable heartbeat, 
malnutrition, amenorrhea, or the absence of menstrual discharge. The nutritionist tries to help in weight restoration by implementing and supervising a well-tailored eating pattern and educating on the normal pattern of eating. The therapist is to recognize and understand serious emotional issues attached to such an eating disorder and apply such method that can help in healthier coping skills and develop ways to deal with such emotions. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.